What's up YouTube? This is Headphones and Stuff, and this is going to be a versus video or a comparison video of the Red Beats Mixer by Beats and the Monster Beats Wireless. Okay, so first thing we're going to start off with is what comes inside the packaging. Okay, so let's start off first with the cleaning cloths. On the mixers here, you're, it's going to come with the updated... Hmm, hold on. Oh, there you go. Okay, it's going to come with the updated cleaning cloth. Just beat. And with the mixers, it's basically now, if you buy it now, it will come with the same thing. Okay. Now let's talk cases. The big beat, I like the Beats mixers case better. Most because it has this nice strap for your headphones so they stay secure in there. This nice bag for your, for your cables and cleaning cloth. And it is hard shell and it's clam. And the Beats Wireless is just a soft shell case which doesn't protect the headphones much and I don't really like the style of it. But one thing a lot of people miss when they do videos of these is this little slot here. I have no idea what it's used for, but I think it's to clip something onto something. The Beats Wireless are, of course, are wireless, so you will need to charge them with this USB hookup here. And the Beats Wireless are obviously not wireless. So, the wires they come with are the standard coiled wire and the control top wire as well. So really overall with what comes with it as far as cases and wires, I'd really prefer the Beats Mixer because you can always be sure you have wire because you have two of them. But I really shouldn't be saying that because these are wireless, but I love the fact of that. And I also love their hard shell case and how they have come with the control talk. But these ones have control talk built into them, but still I am favorable more of these. Now, let's go to something less important, but also important at the same time. The looks. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, in my opinion, the mixers look better because they have that unique color design of all red on them. And these ones are just black on black. And also one thing I don't like about these is the looks is those buttons on the side of your ear kind of go away from the look. If they came out with these in maybe a, some different colors, sure they'd be really nice looking, but the unique design of these and the color scheme is just really nice. Okay, now let's get to a more important thing, the durability. As far as scratches on these ones, these ones get scratches very easily. Well, I shouldn't say very easily. If you were to drop them from here right now, and they hit at a weird angle onto this table, it would leave a scratch. As you can see, it, it also is glossy. I don't like that, but it gets scratches very easy. But with one thing that I hate even more about than scratches is the scuffs. And the Beats Mixer here, on this material right outside the, the logo, that material gets scuffed up very easily. I've had these for about, I don't know, three or four days now, and I already have about four scuffs on there. You see that in the light right there? One, two, three, four. Yeah, so that gets scuffed up a lot, but like that this is like all of them just kind of blah but on the sides here this is metal but then once you get up here it's more of a plastic once you hit up here and up here but the top of the headband is very hard and I just like the build quality of these quality of these overall they also have the swiveling ear cups and, and the wireless do not so even still with the scratches there, in this I favor the Beats Mixer. 
Now something that can be really important when you're thinking of buying your headphones. Comfortability. This is a no-brainer. The Beats Wireless, even though they fit looser on your head, when you're walking you don't feel like they're gonna fall off. Where on these ones, you feel as if you like were headbanging in a car crash at the same time. These still wouldn't come off. They're that tight on your head. As you can see right here, they're already that, they're already touching each other, the cushions. And that kind of, after an hour of use, they can start to wear down on your head and get uncomfortable. But really, I don't use my headphones for much more than an hour. So for me, that's fine. But overall, comfortability, no brainer, the wireless. Now sound leakage. This is where you have them on your head, and if you have them up to a certain amount of volume, people can hear what music you're listening to. On this one, I'm going to have to give them an even tie, because on both of them, really, realistically, you really can't hear it unless you're sitting in a quiet room next to someone, like, and that's at 75%. Re realistically, you can't hear it. At 100, they're both going to leak to where you can hear it, but you're not playing that at all them at 100 usually I wouldn't recommend it but I'm gonna have to give them a tie because from what I have did they're kinda of both the same they leak a little bit but barely noticeable and now the most important thing that you think of when buying your headphones well not necessarily some people just want them for the looks but the most important thing is the sound if you like Hip hop, and you like songs that have a lot of bass, and you want your bass a little bit uh, more bass than some other elements. Not a whole lot, but more bass. I picked these ones for you because they have a good amount of bass, but it's still good sound overall. But these ones, if you want to like hear everything in your music, these ones have good in instrument separation, and uh, they're very well balanced overall. And I know. I probably won't get a comment like this, but uh, on a lot of videos they say it. Oh, the uh, Audio Technica M50s are be better. Well, no duh, they're better. They're professional headphones. They'll say these are professional. They're not professional. You don't see people wearing Beats Wireless and Beats Mixer in the studios. Besides, like, David Guetta who promotes these and gets money for that. But you're not going to really see people wearing these. Well, on the pros, on the, on the other hand, some people, like... Newer artists might use them, but still, I'm sure there's going to be headphones out there that sound better. And also, these are overpriced, I guess. I haven't listened to that many headphones, but from what I've heard, these are overpriced. But Bose, I think, in my opinion, is not better than these. Like, overall, the sound is clearer because it has that the uh, noise isolation, but overall, like, what you're hearing in the music, it isn't as... The instrument separation just isn't as good. It's not as good as these. But of course, it's always going to... Oh, you're going to say, oh, it's so much clearer because of the instruments. I mean, the uh, sound isolation. But really, that's not the whole deal of it. But everyone has their own opinions on these. Uh, yeah. But uh, if you're like a lot of bass, but still like the other elements of the music... You can pick these, and if you like a well-balanced, good-sounding, loud headphone, these are for you. Uh, thanks for watching. You can uh, check out my other channel, which I'm going to be making videos maybe once or... No, every Wednesday I'll be making kind of a slideshow video of some cool hats or something, or headphones like that on my other channel. Every Wednesday. Uh, check out my... Uh, I have a versus of the pros on here, but I wouldn't recommend watching that because everybody hates that one. But uh, you can watch my unboxing of these. Make sure to watch the, uh, the regular unboxing, not in New York City. But you can click on these headphones right now to watch that. And uh, you can see the leak test of these if, by clicking on these headphones right now. So I'll give you 10 seconds. See ya.